you back to this wonderful channel. In this video, we are still going to talk about Unify, a product under Unify, and the Wi Fi, and it's called Building Bridge. So, under this product, we have the Building Bridge Exchange and then Building Bridge. And these are access points. Okay, they work like fiber, but it's actually wireless. If you look at the video um, you're watching on the screen, th this is how it is typically designed. And it has an SFP port that you would have to insert an SFP module with its cable in it and this is how it looks like and then we have the RJ45 port as well so you can either use the RJ45 port or the SFP port to connect your cable it is plug and play kind of installation and it has an inbuilt LED alignment indicators for effortless setup which it simply means is that LED has been built into this device so that when you are aligning it to be connected to its distance device there to be connected to the alignment will tell you i mean the led light will tell you if your alignment to that device is correct or wrong and when it's wrong it's going to show a kind of red led indicator and when it's on a good alignment the light is going to change to blue which signifies that it's on the right path so this is how it looks like it's just simple to install look at how the design looks like. very nice and conducive now let's talk about some a little details of, about this device the maximum range for this device is 500 meters. That's into bracket 1,650 feet. Maximum range. So it cannot do kilometer. It's just for short distance, like 500 meters. It supports 60 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz dual radio redundancy. So these are the kind of frequency it can support. It supports power over Ethernet as usual and it has an inbuilt LED alignment indicators this is it okay this light you see around it incredible length distances it reliably connects sites up to 500 meters apart and so this is just a visual line of two buildings sharing um, this signal between them. Okay, so it looks like one device is stored up here, another one is stored up here. So between these two buildings, a signal is evenly shared between them for data transfer and other services. It's a has a fiber like performance the speed of this device is so fast you will even forget there is no wire between the connection okay so the kind of speed in between these two devices is so incredible that you might be thinking it is actually connected using cable but it's wireless Okay, it's wireless. The design and the kind of technology used in this device is what makes it looks like a wired connection. This is how it is typically deployed between two buildings. And these are actually point-to-point -point devices or point-to-multi-point access points. So as you can see, we have um, the professional UE switch and then drain machine 
connected to each other, internet from where your ISP to the dream machine and then it connects to the switch. Then from the switch, which has UE capabilities, powers the building bridge, which is up here. And then there is another building bridge installed in the next building. So they are pointed to each other. And then the LED indicators around them signifies that they have good connection between them. And so they are good to go. So this is how it is typically deployed. Now let's compare the two models. We have the building bridge, XGen, and the building bridge. The building bridge, XGen, has a fiber-like performance without the wire. The building bridge is a high-performance wireless point-to-point -point bridge. Now let's check on the maximum range between these two devices. And they are they almost cover the same range, which is just 500 meter. Yeah, so this is it supports only 500 meter into back 1650 feet. It supports 50 gig, 60 gigahertz with 5 gigahertz backup. And both radios support this frequency. In terms of the alignment, both has inbuilt LED indicators to help with the alignment of this radio device. The building bridge exchange supports PoE plus plus, and then the building bridge supports only PoE. The uplink between building bridge exchange and building bridge uh, is quite different. The building bridge exchange supports, so it has one 10 gigabit SFP plus port, and also has one um, gigabit port. The building bridge also has one gigabit port. So this is the difference between these two devices, which is the building bridge exchange and the building bridge. So type, typically, this is how it looks like. So also very beautiful, and comes with an SFP port and an RJ45 port as well. Very awesome. You know, engineers could easily hook up onto this device for installations to their clients. Test that uh, it might cost you a little. It is better so thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe share and like my videos as well your comments are also expected thank you very much for watching this video.